watching Who's on Deck, and I'm your host, Leah Guy. Today's show is all about health and fitness. We've got ultramarathoner Marshall Ulrich, ultramarathoner and cross-country runner. Thanks for you, having Marshall? me. Thanks for being on the show. He's not a cross-country. I mean, that's what we call it, cross-country in high school, but he ran across the country. So Correct. you're an across-the-country right. runner. <laughs> right, right. He has not only run from San Francisco to New York, but you did so at age 57? Correct. I, why did you do this? <laughs> You know, it's what was your motivation? It's something that I wanted to do since about 1990 when they had a transcontinental race and I was not able to do that. Mm -hmm. I was busy raising a family and business and just didn't get around to it. So 20 years later, I got around to it. You got around to it. And yeah. It's an amazing story. You chronicle it and your just released book, Running on Empty. Um, but also you have other experiences that kind of led you up. Obviously, you didn't just wake up one morning and decide you're going to run across the country. There were other instigating factors, and you've been training. You've been running up mountains and across Death Valley. Have you always been an athlete? Is I, I haven't been an athlete all my life. At 28 years old, my wife was diagnosed with cancer. Mm. 30 years old, she passed away. And so to control the high blood pressure, I started running up on a doctor's advice, and I pretty well did all these events after that just to fill in a gap. Was it just uh, an experience that you, you felt emotionally and physically was causing the new turmoil and it was your escape to, obviously it's good for you it, to Yeah, it, it was an escape. And uh, I will, I'm brutally honest within the book about uh, just the fortitude it took to stay with her. And then there were times when I was weak and, and couldn't stay with her that I'd have to go out and do something or emotionally I couldn't hold myself together. Mm. So that's. Those are those times when I'd go out and run and I'd find solstice in that. And Sometimes I'd just duck behind a bush and cry my eyes out. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted to remain strong for her mm. in her face. How many years after her passing did you continue the escape into the running and exercise? Pretty much for two and a half decades. So I moved from ultra running into adventure racing. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the old eco challenges, which are four person teams where you travel and do exotic things in exotic places. I can't imagine, I can't really run from here to the corner. <laughs> sure you could. I don't know. I, how do you do it? I mean, I, what happens day to day? Just the, the practical things, you're running. Mm -hmm. Did you have a camera crew with you? Did you have people I did. with you? I did, there was a documentary, it's called Running America, that was produced out of this. So there was a seven person crew that followed me across, plus a crew of at least four people that were with me and they would do it in two shifts. They'd crew me every mile for say nine hours per day and then another crew would come on and do the, the next eight or nine hour stint. So I was running about 17, 18 hours per day. I, I was running about 60 miles per day. Mm -hmm. So they pull up 60 miles. I pull over, sleep in the RV, get out of the RV, ride alongside the road and take off and, and run for the next 17, 18 hours. Did you shower and shave? And I did. When did you decide your heart was ready to move forward? You know, I don't think I really knew that it was until I saw Heather, my current wife, and that was almost 10 years ago. We've been married for eight years. Uh, but she just seemed to understand. She was patient with me. Uh, she was totally on board with, you know, this grieving process that I really had never addressed. And But at this point, you've been at, what, 20 years? Yeah, 25 years. Wow. And so she she taught me how to love again. Well, I uh, enjoy your book, and I encourage those, whether you're a runner or not, it's inspirational. I appreciate you keeping us all inspired, although I don't know that I'm going to do that mile run without you, so you might have to stay on me. <laughs> we'll do a relay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. We'll do a block at a time. <laughs>